been I've also at least we also got uh slides from our classes which helped us to go through the slides after the uh, the class that it has actually been an awesome experience and I just want to suggest I think the last uh, um the last um orientation would I it's not an orientation I think the last session we had to discuss what our challenges were I suggested that at least we know the region where we come from or the place where we come from. Basically, most persons are unable to afford data because of, you know, data is expensive in Africa and in Nigeria. Data is very expensive. Trying to join classes on Zoom and others is quite, uh, I wouldn't say it's exhaustive, but I would say not everybody, uh, for many persons, they probably they dropped out because they are unable to follow up on this. I just want to suggest because I've been on a platform before now where we use Google, uh, Google Chrome. We use Google Chrome to carry out our classes. But once you use a specific line, for example, I use MTN Nigeria. So once I use my MTN to log in my number, to log in on that site i entirely use the uh i use that site for free using my mtn i think uh, yali can adopt that going forward so that so many persons will be able to participate because one thing i understand is for many people especially those in the civic uh, um, space they are actually interested in working in the civic space because of the things they experience so i would like that the poor or the less privileged persons or people who cannot afford these things can be included. Then secondly, I remember we used, uh, the, before we were added to the LMS portal, we actually had short courses using an app if possible, I don't know if that can be adopted for uh, Yali as well, so that at any point in time, someone can just log into that particular app to look for, it. probably if you have downloads and others, you know that it is well saved, you don't have to look for it. Because I had challenges logging in every time I want to use the portal because even with the password, I have to log in like twice or three times and because it's online, I always have to log in anytime I want to uh, carry out any activity on the portal. But if it's uh, if it's an app, I think I, I can be logged in for as long as I can or I want until I am logged out. So that's what I have to say. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Sarah. Um. So, yeah, what? Michelle. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. Um, my name is Yawa Michelle. I'm a pharmacist from Cameroon. And I was so delighted being a participant of this cohort 42. The applicable aspect of the courses that I can enumerate are the online courses, first of all. So it was a bit coordinated, a bit well organized, even though there are some aspects of it that was not really carefully managed. But, you know, in our African context, we were like trying to adapt to it because as I said, I'm a pharmacist, there were some moments that courses were organized and I really sacrificed a lot for those to, to, to attend the courses. But unfortunately, the, the teacher did not show up so it makes and it, it penalizes me a lot. Like I can decide to like cancel a course that I have to give to my pharmacy student in my institution. But unfortunately, the teacher never shows up. He definitely penalizes my own daily activities. But well, as 
nothing is have never been perfect. We just use it like some. We just we, we just convey. I personally just convert the negative aspect of it to be positive. So, uh, if I want to go on the online courses, it was really amazing. Even though we have a lot of difficulties logging on with our data, local various country data that are so expensive. So, but it never it never the uh, changes on what we was our aim and tackle. So on it, we, we, I really appreciate the online classes, all, all the teachers, they were really, they were really, really interesting. Um, so add again on this aspect, I will thanks, encourage Yali to be so punctual and try to organize things. And we should put, really, really put aside our African context before organize programming a, a lecturer letting me confirm his availability 100%. But, well, if any scenario comes before the class is being given, I will emphasize on the communication, communication, communication. That was the, some slight mistake that was, that I personally observed, but in the general aspect of it, it was really, really, really good. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I can't, I can't say the contrary. On that, I really, really appreciate everything that you have been doing because from this from this step of the of the courses, I can really see myself having my leadership skills apply on my daily activities. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Awat. Um, can Dembo, your hand is up, Dembo. Dembo. Yes, uh, is it still morning? Good morning, all. Good morning. I am Dembo Keto. Dembo, we can't hear you. Let's hear you. Dembo, we can't hear you. Hello, Dembo. <laughs> yes, sir. I hope you are hearing me. We can hear Hope you. Can hear me. We can hear okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I said I learned a lot. Uh, I think even even my wife confessed that I I, I change a bit uh, <laughs> compared to before, and then I thank Yali for that. Uh, equally, uh, um, I don't know whether uh, the portal will be closed because there are some videos that I always keep on watching. I don't know whether the portal will be closed or it will be open, it will be continuously open. Hello? Yeah, go on, yes. go on. We'll answer, go on. we'll answer, go on. We'll answer we are everything. Putting it down. Oh, 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 okay, thank you. Yes, so because time to time I keep on uh, going to the, to the back to the portal and then watch uh, uh, videos. And then also I have a friend who also Anytime he visited me, he will ask me to log into my portal and then also videos. But like my other colleague said, uh, uh, in Africa, especially Gambia, I don't know, that of, but he she said also Nigeria, data is very expensive. Uh, initially, we thought that it's going to be hard bread, but it's not a bad thing. No matter how expensive it is, I think I, it, uh, what I learned, I it works of it. So I thank you all. Okay, okay, Dembo. Dembo, thank you so much, Dembo. Bye. Uh, can we have bye, Conte? Bye, Conte. You may proceed. Bye, Conte. Hello, good morning, all. Good morning. So first of all, I just want to thank you all for the entire uh, work you have been doing for the past months now. And for me, the beginning of the course was challenging for me because I was in the provinces. To, to, for me to have an internet was a challenge, you know. So unless I move from where I was to a better place where I can have access to quality internet. And for my past months now, what I have learned is 
really, really good for what I want to do in the future. And I have already started now because when I, I applied for the program, I said that I want to do end tomato and paste production. Now I can attest to the fact that I have already start, started doing my own planting. And after my having we start doing my own tomato paste. And the challenge I also want in the future because Dr. Pascal in his last end session made mention of so I just want to know if I can get access to this and uh, uh, slides so that we can also be able to prepare our own pitches. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Um anybody <laughs> Anybody? Um, please. Anybody? If we're in the room already. Please. Randall okay. So, come. so Richard, Sign. please. In the absence of um, any any further experiences, can 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 you please speak to some of the things they, they raised, and then probably I can add something. Yeah. Please. please can I say one thing? Um. Who is that? Success. It's success. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just quickly. Um, I know that um you've already ad uh, started advertising or admitting people for the on-site uh, session, and I know that you're going to take care of them, probably feed them, accommodate them, and all of that. Um, is it possible to uh, factor the online guys inside in such in a way that since we are not receiving some of those benefits that the guys on site are receiving, maybe we could get some benefits, uh, some financial benefits to assist with the procurement of, or to get data to be able to, um, what do you call it, to be able to participate. I'm talking maybe not for us, maybe for the future uh, online, online cohorts. Yeah, thank you. Oh, all right. Uh, no, no problem. No All right, so Richard, you can go on, please. So please pay attention to your screen. Hmm. Okay, sir. All right, okay, so thank you, everybody, for your suggestions, for your encouragement, and also for some of the recommendations that you have made to the Sorry. center. I will start um, with the last one that success just, I mean, asked that. If we will consider online participants, maybe some form of um, data package or some form of financials to help them um, minimize the cost of data in their various countries. Um, success, I think um, that is a laudable idea and that is one of the things that we are working on with our partners as we go through phases of this program. So we are Sorry. hopeful that maybe in the near future, our stakeholders would consider this recommendations Sorry. and then Thank we you. may start, I mean, from there. So it's well noted and I mean, Thank you for that. We are also in the same direction as you are thinking. Then um, I will also deal with um, some of the things that um, such as you raised earlier on in terms of the well-coordinated uh, information example, like um, lectures not coming, technical hitches and all those things. Yes. Um, in fact, we uh, we we acknowledge that during the course of the training there were some hitches and some technical problems. But some of them, I mean, some of the technical hitches, I mean, as you may be aware in in this part of the country, some of them, even we we ourselves it's um it's not um something that we 
um, we were looking, I mean, up for example, like uh, maybe lost in, in connectivity, you know, internet connectivity, you cannot predict it. So sometimes, I mean, um, during the day, it may, I mean, it will be stable, working, everything, condition. Then maybe yeah, some few minutes to time or something, something, I mean, would happen. Yeah, In that instance, um, we would communicate all right to you, but um, the timing which we all agree, I mean, was not the best, but sometimes it's um, some of these things, we hardly have control I mean, over it so far. Those ones, I mean, we we apologize on it, and then and, and we will have um at the end of the training, just as we are doing here, some of your feedback will also help us to also um um take into consideration measures to minimize it if not to eliminate some of the, at least to minimize it to the barest minimum in the future programming is well noted. As for lectures not showing up, that one I think is well noted. That one, it's something that, I mean, we can control. So um, we would take into consideration that one and then also um, inform you at your earliest convenience if one reason or the other um, some facilitator or some lecturer is not showing up we would I mean do I mean that also you also spoke about um, I think group assignment submission of group assignment to reflect your grading system yes um we would work on it i mean we have identified some uh, some functionalities that will help you to submit group assignment individually so that it will be factored in in your grading system on the platform so we would deal with that one but for the Meantime, the ones that you have submitted, we have it and we will look at the group members and then also um, adjust the group members who participated on that group assignment, not to, um, to um, take you uh, off that you did not meet the minimum requirement or something but I mean it will be graded on our side of the platform so that at least those that participated can meet the minimum requirement that is being expected of you so that one is also well noted now regarding the videos um yeah, so the videos, um, as you said, I think it um is being worked on and um and very soon it will be, I mean, we want to finish with all the uploading. We don't want to do one and then inform you, then later on we go and do one, inform you. No, I mean we want to finish with all of them. And then we will send the link onto you. I mean, for you to go there and also view it. And then also we will try also as you are um, exiting from the program, some of these materials we would post them on our, on our alumni platform, which is called the Ama Beso. Um, during your post training service, the alumni manager will speak about it. So some of these materials, when you go onto the platform, you may have it there. I mean, as long as Yale exists, 
you may have it there and then also it will serve as a resource material for you for your journey ahead um also um um sarah made mention of an app for easy access and continuity yes we recognize the i mean the age in which we are the technological age i mean where smartphone i mean has become accessible to i mean to it's almost almost every household and the use of um mobile apps and then the the influence and the productivity that they have yes um this is also something that um that we are considering so in the near future all the platform i mean will be mobilely assessed currently um our learning platform has that capability but we have not activated that one yet so as you have raised it we would i mean we will sit on a round table discuss it as a team and then we will see how how fast and how soon we can we can activate that part of the platform so thank you also for reminding us and then i think uh dembo dembo spoke about whether the portal i mean will be open for you or not um once the training ends the portal will be closed because but it doesn't mean that we have closed the learning it is only the portal that is being closed but the learning still continues that's where i made mention of um we will i mean when you transition onto the alumni platform some of these resources some of these um videos some of those uh, materials will still be available so the learning does not close but it is only the portal that i mean that will be closed so i think that answers your question dembo and uh, I think who else? Um, I think um, I have covered um, all the questions that you asked. Maybe I don't know, Erasmus. Maybe if there is something that I did not cover, please feel free to add it for me. Thank you. Over to you, Erasmus. Yeah, thank you so much, Richard. I think you you have covered all um uh, all the concerns raised or the complaints made. And so I, I think basically we are fine to go on. Um, let me let me put on my video. I I almost forgot that I have I have I have I have raised the rule and I'm going against it. Sorry. <laughs> so that's just by the way. So thank you all for sharing your experiences with us. It has been too, um, 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 you've been too sincere and honest enough. Uh, and I just like the way you sandwich the whole process. That really tells us that you are really, or you have really gotten a leadership giver clue as to raising criticisms. So you give us a positive um, um, feedback and then you put in the the quiet issued ones. I don't want to say negative. I want to be very selective in my words. And then you top it up with um, another positive and, and, and complimentary statement. So you sandwich the whole criticism, uh, criticism and process. And that's how a leader has to uh, communicate um, any kind of issue that he or she has. So thank you so much. And all that you shared would, would be raised in our team meeting. And so basically we've had the experience so far. It's, it's not been bad, it's not been good. But let me quickly add that we are also learning on our part because the platform we are using, you are the first 
uh, group to pi to be piloted on that platform. If if I'm right, Richie. Yes. Yes. That's so nice. uh, we are all learning on both sides. If it was to be our old platform, things would have been a little bit different. But this time we are all learning. And then thanks for your cooperation and coordination for giving us this feedback on our new platform interface. So thank you so much. So the next thing we have is just, a, it, it, it's, it's basically a reminder as to um, the steps to, 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 towards the completion of the training. So we quickly looked at the six steps. So this is a reminder to all of us so that we, we, have, we have a call back to go back and look at all that we have done to make sure that um, we have satisfied all these areas so that at the end of the training, yeah, we will not have ourselves wanting. And I and let me repeat this again. I said it in our orientation. I said it in our uh, previous meeting. And then I, I want to repeat it now that I always advise that in all of this, you do this or you you, you make sure you satisfy all of these probably, let's say three days to the deadlines you have been given. Because it takes a, a little while for the system to up, update itself with any information or activity you've done in there. And what we have come to realize by experience is that um, at the end of the training, getting to the end, a lot of you do rush um, towards completing. And so things, the system becomes a little bit slower it, it does not um, um, record or update or get that information you are putting in there quicker than you are getting it now. So you may end up having your activities not updated during or at the point of the deadline. And then when we come back to inform you that you have not successfully completed the program, hence you will have to be, um, 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 you, 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 you form part of the lag participant, so we'll have to move on and leave you. It becomes a little bit of a challenge. So that's my advice. In all of these six steps, some of them we have already we have already gone past the HP Live courses, we have already gone past and um, the webinar sessions. And then I do understand that all of us cannot come in there and then we'll make sure, just as Richard has said, we'll share the link with you where all the videos are in there for you to assess them. And then what we what we advise now is to make sure the resources you have on the platform, you engage them fully um, so that in there we can track your completion um, and as well. And then all other uh, group presentations, just as Richard has, has also said, we do have your names attached to the poster presentations. So um, it is something we, 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 we will cross-check from our end when, when, when it's the time for us to start sharing with you the completion or the complete, let's say the completion status of, 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 of your um, um, joining or being on the platform. So basically, this is just a, this is a reminder to relook really at it and go back and possibly recheck all that you have done in there to make sure you are close to the 100% completion or the 100% completion rate as of now. So we all have from today to the whole of the weekend to do all these checks before we, we begin our uh, um, uh, simulation exercise next week, which of course we'll, we'll share that here with you as well. So just as I've said, what, what, what's up next? What is up next? So um, by your by your your commitment and seriousness, we have gone past um, the core modules, the 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 recap sessions, the track sessions, and the webinars. And so basically, on the fourth of May, we will be having the poster assessment feedback. So the poster presentations you you shared with us, we will have some panel of judges looking at them and giving feedbacks, we'll share those feedbacks with you. And then um, we'll give you some 30 to 40 minutes to ask questions about the feedbacks or clarifications. Because what we know is the poster session is supposed to give you 
or present an eye opener as to the various forms of uh, community service services you can engage in when you leave us. Everything we are doing is trying, we are trying to make sure we connect it to the impact that we want to see you create or make in your communities. So these poster sessions are meant to present to you the pictorial and, and, and data or information as to what is really happening or the problems so that you can pick them up considering the community you find yourself in to, to work on them as a community service or as a project you want to pick up or as, an, as, as a business line you want to pick up on, on, on your own. And then on that same thought, um, our participant affairs unit will have an orientation with you on the post-training activities. So after you, you are done on the online, the technical training on the online and, and on the LMS, what's next? When we say post-training, what do we mean? What goes into it? What is expected of you? And what do you, what we, we, we need to provide for you to, to undertake your post-training? All will be done on the 4th of May. The details will be communicated to you. The, the link and everything will be communicated to you as well. And then um, from the 25th of April to the 9th of May, we, you will be having your simulation exercises. And so in there, between the 25th and the 9th, you will have, we'll share the groupings with you, your groups for the simulation, irrespective of the tracks you are in. This is a, a different group. So you are going to work in that group and um, we'll provide the, the, the theme or the topic for the simulation or the scenario for the simulation to you. And then you, in, in between this time, you'll have to brainstorm, develop, and then find solutions or probably actions to the simulation challenge. And then from the 26th to that same night, we'll begin to share with you your completion status. So we will share with you with names and modules where you have completed, where you have not completed. And so along the line, you get to know where you are falling short or lagging, and then you can go back and recheck all those areas so we'll help you to, 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 to do that so that we'll make sure we don't leave everyone or anyone, we don't leave anyone behind as far as this training is concerned. And then on the 10th of May, we'll have our closing ceremony. And then um, we'll be done with you as in cohort 42 online, yearly program. And so basically this is what is up next to the closing of this uh, program. And so these are the areas you need to expect information from us from. So basically, this is what is up next. So we come to the simulation exercise. So we please, come can to I ask a question? Can you write your can question you... down for, for me, please? Can you write it down? Oh. Write okay. it down. Write it down, please. So basically, this is this is uh, this is about your simulation exercise, which is supposed to, which you are you are supposed to present to us on the 9th of May, Tuesday, twenty twenty three, in a grand conference where we have all of you in the virtual space like this, and then um, it, that's the final um, aspect of uh, the program where we want to assess the knowledge you have acquired so far. I mean, with the soft skills, what you have acquired so far, problem solving skills, presentation skills, um, negotiation skills, and um, understanding the issues, the real data in real time, and then um, getting to defend your action plans, and then raising um, the possible um, or feasible um, solutions to the challenge for us. So the theme or the topic for the simulation exercise is artificial intelligence, am I ready? So AI, am I ready? So just as we are beginning to understand now, the world is moving with so much trending technologies to make our work easier, 
to make uh, our, our, our endeavors more effective, make us plan better, work better, do things in a proper and routine manner. There are a lot of training technologies in our spaces, both in the civic space, both in public uh, sector, both in the business and administrative, business and entrepreneurship um, um, field. So we are, we are going to explore these areas to see how best the new or trending technology can help us uh, achieve better as, as a sub-region, as a country, um, as, as a community or society or in our organizations. So the objective of this um, um, simulation, just as we have, we have it here, is, is to, to form groups comprising individuals in public management, civic leadership, business, and entrepreneurship, and provide the groups with a platform to exhibit their leadership abilities by examining the prospects and challenges of AI in the development of Africa or West Africa. So you are going to do this through a role-playing activities. So when we say role-playing activities, then we are looking at you not presenting in the name of Success Soa or in the person of Sarah Nathaniel, but then we are looking at you picking a figure, a personification kind of thing to present to us either in the form of a CEO of, 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 of an organization, um, a director of, 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 of a public sector or a minister in charge of a public sector, or in a space of even speaking for a country. So looking at the, the, the question and the scenarios, you, you, can, you can look at how best you can present it because um, innovation and presentation skills is, is at stake when it comes to the rubrics. So that is, we leave that to you to present that as, 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 as we expect on the ninth. And then the other aspect is to collaborate to tackle the challenges presented by AI. So we are putting it in a group. So the group has, has, has no fixed dimension. It's not, it's not like when we are talking about civic leadership, then your group is made up of people in the civic. It is a mix where everybody has to bring their, their, their expertise and knowledge on board to make sure the group or the team presents a very feasible and workable um, solution to the challenges. And then we look at, um, despite the challenges, how we can maximize the potentials of AI to our benefit. So further details and information on the modalities will be communicated to you um, in the upcoming emails or um, and, and correspondence we're going to have. So we are going to share with you your various challenges and then the group lists by close of today so that you can start contacting your groups and engaging your groups and then planning towards the work. So by close of today, we are going to share that with you so that we are all on the same page. Okay. So on this note, um, um, we are done with our um, facilitation and then we look out for your questions and then how best we can assist you in all of that. So thank you for your time and thank you for cooperating with us. And then we look forward to all the questions you have. And then we hope to make sure by the time we end the session, everyone will be clear and then we'll be on the same page as we complete this program. Thank you so much once again for your, your listening ears. Thank you. So time for your questions now, please. Um... Good morning, you're welcome. Thank you for this uh, session. Thank you for the clarification and all that. Just on a lighter note, we are supposed to have lunch after this discussion, at least. So we'll eat food or drink. Yeah, as you said. <laughs> so how do, how, do we, how do we do that? How do we do that? Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. we can do it. So now it's virtual. So everybody will be given some time to go and buy food and drink and we'll all switch our cameras on and then we will have an 
<laughs> online virtual lunch. The, the, yes. The, so so my the my the my will be water yeah. because we can't move. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, any question? So, I, um, I, yes. I think basically, um, 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 okay. success, success. You, you be. You, I, I guess you can't play your video anyway. But then we are only 10, 11 in here now. Mm -hmm. So, I guess can we all switch on our videos at least at this latter part of our okay. discussion? Check your screen. Yes. So success, you can go on as as we we we, we have. Okay. Yes. Okay. So my first question, the question I wanted to ask was to do with the mentor mentorship session and and the post training uh, assignment that we're going to do, like either internship or community engagement, because you mentioned that after tenth May you'll be done with us as cohort 42. So I was wondering if you say you're done with us, does that mean that we'll not have the mentorship session and we'll not get coaching to go about the community engagement or internship? That's my first question. Then the second question has to do with the presentation you made. You said for the simulation exercise, we're going to have group presentation. So does it mean that one person will have to do the role play for the entire group or every member of the group will have the chance to present as something, maybe like a CEO or a director or president or what have you? These those are my two questions. Thank you. Okay. So can can I can we have another one? Okay, so in the absence of all as as we you you think about what to ask, um, Richard, should I speak to this? Yeah, sure. If you want to, yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, success. Um, if 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 you could remember, I said um, we will be done technically with you as far as the learning management system is concerned. Your training on the platform is concerned. And just as Richard said, it is the portal that, or the technical training that has ended, but not the learning. And so I said, we'll be done with you as far as the technical training on the learning platform is concerned. And then we'll hand you over to the post-training unit. So the participant affairs will orient you as to the processes and then the nitty gritties that goes into the post-training and then the schedules and then the timelines. That will be done on the 4th of May, just as we have presented earlier. So you have every detail of it before we go off on the 10th. So you, we are just, it's just like the, the curriculum and content or the training team will take you and give you to the post-training team. So it's, it's not like, you only complete this training when you submit your report after the post-training and then you are given a certificate. That is the only time or period you can be termed as an alumni of the YALI training program. So that, that, that's how it, it works. And then the simulation, it, the, the whole setup has to do with how the group wants to present it. So if you want to present as, as a group, which of course, Looking at your number and the number we have we have divided or shared you into, we are looking at almost 23 people in a group. So you can decide how either you can pick a few people to represent or personify some positions and then have them present. If you decide to have a single person speaking, all of that will go into the, the judgment of your presentation or your 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 way of presentation or presenting a challenge all of that will go into that so you should you should be smart enough to find a way to it's part of the rubric so i don't want to speak much on that but then all of that is up to you as a group how innovative you are going to do that to make sure you 
you have the the the, the marks you, you want from the from the panel. So success, that's basically up to you as a group. Mm, yeah. Let me just add to this this point. Um success as the name applies, it's a group simulation. It's not an individual simulation. It's a group. So we acknowledge the fact that the, the members within the group may be large, just as Erasmus said, 23. But we don't encourage one person to role play the, the simulation. No. Okay. At least, at least you can have about three people to role play because this is a group, I mean, work else. I mean, over the years, we have see that yes, group work, if you leave it, one person will go and sit down and do everything on behalf of the group. But that is not the aim. If that was the aim, we would have said that individual, but this one is a group because we want to see the group dynamics, how you collaborate with people from different country, different background, different beliefs. How do you collaborate and network with them? So this is also part even part of your networking section. So we encourage that no single individual should role play everything. No, I mean, have it that at least, even if you don't have people, at least not less than three. But I mean, if you get more than three to that is nice. It will bring the dynamism and I mean and um, different um, flair and presentation skills at play. Because all of these things will be um, will be looked into during the presentation. So thank you. And, and let, let me let, let me hasten to add here that Richard has mentioned something about group work. Please kindly take note. You can complete everything, every resource, every single activity on the learning platform. But if we do not find your name in the final list of the simulation exercise, we will take you out. Kindly take note. You can complete everything on the learning platform. But if you do not, do not form part of the simulation exercise and your name does not appear in the sub the name that will be submitted to us as a group. You will not be part of those who will complete this training. Thank you. I have a question. Sarah. Yeah, while you are responding to success, I heard you talk about submission of reports. So I just want to be clear. Are you referring to the simulation exercise or any other reports before we can be added to the alumni network? Oh, so um, that is a post-training issue because success raised issues on post-training. That was why I raised that because in the post-training, just briefly, in the post-training, you'll be demanded to do mentorship. You'll be demanded to do community service or internship. You'll be demanded to write a report of your activity, your community service, or your internship, your experience. And then based on the report, you'll be, you'll be granted or you'll be awarded the completion certificate to become an alumni. So basically that's post-training issue. So there'll be a, a whole orientation on that. So you have an opportunity to ask all the questions. But with the simulation, when we share, when we share the, the exercise and, and, and script with you, or the challenge or scenario script with you, everything is in there. What is demanded and needed from you is in there. So you get to know what to do and what to give to us. Okay. So I guess I guess we are all doing we are all fine now. So on this note, I'd like to thank you all for making it to today's session. And then please do I, I know the schedule, and then because today is also it some of our Muslim brothers and sisters um, couldn't make it to today's session. So kindly make sure that 
you have a little bulletin of what you have done, and then you can share it um, amongst yourself. But make sure what you are going to share is exactly what we what, what we said or what we have um, discussed here. Something very short, bullets, so that at least those of us who couldn't make it can get what is in there. So thank you all for coming, and then good luck in your final session of the training program. Thank you, Sarah. Thank, thank you, success. Thank, thank you, uh, Aisha. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Bye. Thank, thank you, everybody. Monte. Do have a great day. Thank you, Ezekiel, and have a great day. Thank Bye -bye. you, sir. Thank you.